Hey everybody, I'm Lance Koike, and today we're going to go through some rep range recommendations. We're going to start, we got about five videos here that we're going to outline so you know what kinds of, you know, how many reps do I need to do in a set to get my given adaptation. And so first up is my favorite, probably, it's the strength range. So strength is, you know, to define it for this video, we're going to say it's like, how much weight can you lift? Um, so if I'm going to increase how much weight I can lift, I need to lift heavy weights. They don't necessarily have to be the heaviest weight that I've ever lifted. And this is where training gets kind of complicated. So we've talked before about progression and about overload. And if I'm trying to get strength, progression and overload insinuate that I need to put on more weight every week. And that's kind of true, but it doesn't like if I'm training for a higher one rep max, the higher just the highest just one rep weight that I can do. I don't need to only do one rep weights and that, you know, that even goes into the, the face of specificity as well. So this stuff gets kind of confusing. Now, the issue is that all of your adaptations fall under a bunch of different categories. And so even if I want just strength, all these other things are interrelated. If I'm gonna get a really good training session, I need some sort of conditioning in the muscle. Even if I'm just training for strength, I need blood supply to that area. And the more that I have, the, the better that I respond, the better I can recover after a workout. <clears throat> so, with strength ranges, generally we're not just in that one rep zone. We, we will say generally your hard and fast rule is between one rep and six reps. Once you start to get a little higher there, you're getting more into our next category, which we're not talking about yet, but I'll tease it for you. It's muscle building, it's hypertrophy. With strength stuff, a heavy six RM rep, six rep maximum, and a heavy one RM are totally different. Totally, totally, they feel totally different. But physiologically, they're kind of similar, right? Each of those reps is really heavy. Um, it is primed for the uh, muscular deformation that is happening. Um, and most of my motor units, especially if I'm trying to lift with as much intent as possible, most of my motor units are going to be activated. So I am training every single muscle fiber during that six rep set or during that one rep set, as long as it's close to that maximum ability, right? I could do singles with 135 on my deadlift, but I'm not really going to feel that at all unless I really, really move it fast. And even then I'm probably not gonna feel it that much. I'm probably not gonna get that total motor unit recruitment. So fast rule is one to six reps for your strength ranges. Make sure that they are challenging. Make sure that fatigue is kind of accumulating. The, the biggest thing is that you need to be pushing yourself, right? You need these final few reps to be really hard. Um, and as long as you live by that, all of these rep ranges are going to work out for you.